Taking it out here to the patio. Beautiful day. Summertime is here. Some important information now about the do's and don'ts of dealing with dogs. Megan Moon from Sixa joins us this morning uh, with our friend Hunter. Hunter, right? Correct. And mm -hmm. who do we have over here? Your your this three is, uh, accomplices. Yes, these are our interns, Jay, Holly, and Mary. Girls, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Hunter, thank you for coming in as well. Uh, he's a little bit nervous, which brings us to the point: when you see a dog on the street, Megan, a loose dog. How do you handle it? What do you do? The best thing to do when you see a loose dog is do not run or scream. Those are the important things. Don't run from a loose dog. He will chase. So the first thing you want to do is stand very tall and still and act like a tree. And actually, Jay is going to demonstrate how that's done. Stand tall. With your <laughs> that's a nice tree, Jay. Good job. <laughs> with their arms toward your side, looking up toward the sky. Just try to be as boring as possible so the dog may sniff you and then walk away. You kind of exude a confidence, right? You don't, don't act scared. Because because Absolutely. then they'll sense that. Exactly. Is that true? It is true, yes. You want to make sure to avoid eye contact as that can be seen as a, as a threatening sign as well. Now, if for some reason you are knocked to the ground or, um, or fall to the ground, you want to act like a rock. And Mary is going to demonstrate a rock. If you're down on the ground, you want to pull your knees in towards your chest and interlock your fingers behind your neck to protect your neck and ears. And again, stay very still and quiet. The dog may sniff, but will most likely walk away at this point. Really good information for kids, too. If they get overwhelmed and unfortunately, and if they are being attacked in any way, that's what you want to do, right? Absolutely. Now, if for some reason the dog does choose to attack you, you can give up your jacket or your bag to the dog. Better the jacket or the bag than one of your body parts. <laughs> it's important for you to Give something to the dog to distract the dog. Is, at any point, do you want to try to make friends, hold your hand out or anything like that? Or in the situation of a stray dog, just get it away first and then get out of there? With a stray or, or a loose dog, absolutely you do not want to try, try to approach or pet the dog. Now, if the dog is on leash and owned, it is still an unfamiliar dog to you, you may approach the, the owner and first ask permission to pet the dog. And our interns are going to show you how that's done as well. All right. Now, this is what you, you, you want to do is introduce yourself. Yes, introduce yourself, ask to pet the dog, and then allow the dog to sniff your hand before petting. And the best places to pet would be on the shoulders and the chest region. Try to avoid the top of the head because some dogs are sensitive to that area. All right, really good information. Hunter, you're awesome. Thanks so much. And uh, don't stick a big camera in the, in the dog's face either. <laughs> if you're out on the streets and you happen to have a big camera on your shoulder, like this guy right here, mm -hmm. Megan, good information. Thanks so much.